just beat a big rainstorm in, just by the nick of time, I think. We still got a little idle around the canal here. And that's on this episode of Dockside TV, we came out on an early morning fishing trip, fished really hard, decided to stay on the trestle all day, never left it, fishing from almost one end to the other, got bites in several areas, and there was no real secret spot that had more fish in another area. They were Fish were spread out, and when you would find a little concentration of them, you catch three or four in a row, and we just kept grinding on it, grinding on it. it Ended up being a pretty good catch. I don't know how many we got, but a uh, pretty nice mess of fish, a lot of fun, a lot of quality speckled trout in the two to four pound range. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and it's got good tips on how to fish a trestle. Come out here and get in on it. All right, back on the trestle. We're not killing them out here, but there's just enough to keep you interested. Every fish you catch is in that 20 inch class. And what we're doing right now, 3 8 ounce golden eye on the ultraviolet. Jonathan's using the ultraviolet dip with a chartreuse tail. Both are working well. What we're doing, we're fishing the east side on a fallen tide for the trout, and then we'll slip over to the west side and we're trying to get a flounder. There's a few trout on the west side, but you want to fish the east on a fallen west on a rise and for the specks and always on the west for the flounder. Big fish out here. Got to be patient. This is how you fish them trophy fish. Patience, keep the bait on the bottom. Once you find a little patch of fish, kind of stay in that area. They're really spread out. Trolling's working good. We just caught this one on back-to-back -back cast. So you want to, you like trolling, troll, locate the fish, and then grind that area out. They're very spread out, but once you find a few, they're packed together. Nice fish. All uh, right, right now on the trestle. Today we've got that nice falling tide. The bite's pretty good. It's been a pretty tough year, and today's one of the better days we're having. We're not catching limits right now, but you can look for 10 to 20 fish on any given day. But what happens when, it, when they're far and few between and they're spread out, we're going like 10 minutes without a bite and we're catching four in a row. 10 minutes without a bite, four in a row. The fish can, can really lull you to sleep. You gotta really keep a close eye on your line. Cast it out towards the bridge, get about a full cast, cast length dis, distance off. And you gotta just make sure these bites are so light. Just the slightest little tap. Watch for that line when it hits the bottom. Just begin your retrieve and rail in your slack just enough to where you can feel the bite. And it's just going to feel, the bite's just going to feel like a dragonfly landed on your line. A little bitty tap. And the minute you feel like you got to rear up and set the hook. You can't give them any time between. Any instance you feel that line jump, move, slide, do something different, you got to set the hook immediately. Gonna go ahead and end the show right here. Of a nice solid three pound spec. Ultraviolet, magneto, that's been the two hot colors. Golden eye jig at three eighths ounce. That's what you want to use out here unless the current's running super hard, you use a half. Made a nice catch of 20 trout so far today. We're gonna keep on fishing. Just remember, if you come out here and try to get on some of these big fall trophy trout, be very patient. They're spread out. They're hitting it. They're hitting it hard, but it feels so light. Remember, just keep an eye on your line. Pay very close attention to everything. The bites are very subtle. Hey, out here, we got three or four flounder, 18 trout or so. All good fish. Just working from one end of the bridge to the other. We've already fished five or six different areas. Everywhere is producing. Get out here. Enjoy this big, this big fish run. It's going to last usually through the middle of December. And for all our other episodes, check us out at www.docksidela.com for all our other videos. Until next time, good fishing.